Hello everyone, I am Lynn, and today I'm gonna to talk about a topic that I think most of us resonate with, but maybe we haven't actually thought about it in terms where they're verbalized or that you can actually express this. So let's, let's just move forward here. It says, my son who lived at home has had psychological issues since he turned 21, so he's older now. He recently started a fight over nothing that lasted for an hour despite me telling him to drop it or to change the subject. It started over a few crumbs on the kitchen floor and ended up ruining the entire day. So he basically took one little thing and allowed himself to get very worked up, ruined an entire day because of crumbs on the kitchen floor. He ended up searching for an apartment the next day, so this has continued to escalate. This got me thinking that maybe the deep state is trying to get at targets using family members. I'm thinking of Elon Musk, and this kid is now wanting to change genders after he tried to buy Twitter, or the accountant that was about to testify to Congress, and then his son was drugged and set up as a patsy for the Aurora theater shooting. I'm not. I'm sure that there's many other examples, and I'm not saying my son was a target to get it at this person asking the question, but maybe you can look into this as a blog reading, this overall topic of... If they can't get to you, do they get to somebody that's near you and hurt you in a different way? So great question. I, I think a lot of us resonate with this. A lot of us suspect it or have seen it. And by asking this question and relating it even to real life, uh, I just thought it was a, an interesting way to pose it in open mind. So first off, like I said, great topic. I get that this does happen all the time. I think we all can agree to that. If the powers at work cannot get to the person, they often work indirectly to hurt the person. Many times going after a family member and a loved one can be more effective than going after the person directly. People that want to stand strong, they're going to stand firm. They're going to, you know, double down. They will take it. Many times people become headstrong and they think, you know, I'll take whatever comes at me. I'll take I'll take my lumps, but I'm going to stand for what I believe is right and wrong. But watching an innocent person, someone that you care about, a family member, someone you know that's being harmed because of you, that's a lot different. And they've learned this. They have learned to, to realize where people can be vulnerable. If they don't want to be vulnerable for their own self, they might be vulnerable for something else. There's been situations of blackmail, hostages, ransoms, all this kind of stuff. They've been doing this since the beginning of time, uh, getting at people through family and friends, loved ones, all of that. And this basically, it, it's not really a new tool in their toolbox or just simply getting more creative in how they manipulate and punish those who wish to harm them. Meaning just like in Elon's example, you can't maybe get to Elon. Maybe he's got money. Maybe he's kind of doing some double agent stuff, which I do believe I don't fully trust and resonate with everything he's doing either. However, in that scenario, I get that some powerful people might not like what he's doing or the direction or what's happening, or maybe this is even a uh, part of it, but what do they do? They go and attack his kids. So that's a different way to hurt someone that is indirect, but yet pretty direct of a tool. So when we have an individual situation, such as the person asking this question, it may be that I get the sun was not specifically targeted, but the universe puts these things in your path to open your mind to question other things. Like maybe they knew that people were used to get to other people, but when this happened, it evoked some thought and it evoked some inspiration to look out there and look at this a little deeper, like, man, maybe this is a tactic that they're doing and who are they doing that to? And what scenarios parallel each other? And when thinking on Elon or the theater shooter, I do get these people in the public eye are being targeted. Without this recent experience, this person might not have had that insight, might not have stopped to really think or even ask that question or ask the question so I can put it on the blog so other people can ask that question or think of how that might relate to things they've seen and heard in the news. These individual and personal battles are often keys to wake up other things in the world. So sometimes an event, it might not be some grandiose thing, but it's enough to trigger an open-minded thought that can lead you down a path to see truths in other places. I get that's really what this was and why this happened on this day with this person asking the question. It was a wake up kind of thing to help see things differently or give a way to explain this phenomenon to someone else. When you go and tell your neighbor, hey, they're, 
they're going after so-and-so's kids to be able to get to this guy and they think you're crazy, you can cite examples. Hey, well, they're doing this. Hey, did you see this? It's just a different way and a different method to help other people relate and help hopefully find those that are ready to wake up and help them understand and relate in a plausible way that, hey, this is happening. So all in all, I wanna thank this person for sharing their experience, helping others to see another pathway that the that powers at work, getting what they want in a more indirect and creative way. Truly, they are truly master manipulators on a scale like we've never seen before, at least publicly and out there in our collective consciousness, it is becoming more and more apparent. And I think that is why these little things keep happening to wake people up and to tap into that collective. So I'll leave you with that. Feel free to leave a comment, share an example, share your thoughts. And if you're interested in putting in your own blog request, please hop on over to the blog. Or if you would like a personal reading Reiki session or life coaching session, info for that can be on the blog, or you can reach out to me through my information in the drop down box. Have a great uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I will be in tune with you next week. Take care. Bye.